We have a lot in common, Ryan and I. Mm -hmm. Now we're heading to the gym. We're gonna get a quick workout in. Pretty positive Kate's gonna make the track team, but my fingers are crossed for Ryan. Oh. You think Ryan's gonna make the team? I'm so nervous. How are you feeling at the time? Because it's day three. Scared, okay. Uh I know this is a dark place to start the vlog. Um, not metaphorically, like literally. Uh, but it is currently like six on the dot. And this is, no, actually this is before I would wake up for actual school. Me and Katie today, if you didn't hear from yesterday's vlog, are doing this thing where we're going to the gym in the morning, which means you have to wake up at like 5.45. So um, we woke up. Uh, we got all our breakfast together, brush our teeth. Now we're heading to the gym. We're gonna get a quick workout in, shower at the gym, then go to school. So that's what's happening right now. We are currently out the door at the right time. So hopefully we can get a 30 to 45 minute workout in. And then we have day three of track tryouts uh, after school today. So it's gonna be interesting. And um, uh, I'm really excited though. I'm optimistic for um, how this is gonna go. So hopefully this isn't every day that we do this because this was really hard, but um, we'll see. So yeah, uh, I'll see you guys at the gym. Hey, it's actually light outside so you can see our faces. Hey. And we just wrapped up at the gym. Uh, so we got to the gym around like 6.15ish. Started working out at like 6.20. So we had some time to work out. We had like 30 minutes to work but out. But not enough. But not enough. So I think we're gonna leave start try to leave the house earlier next time or wake up earlier, but we wanna get a full workout because none of us actually got a full workout. But it's okay. So we we showered, uh, like got all the stuff done, now we're heading to school and it is 7.10. So it's school starts at 7.30, so hopefully we can make it. And um... It's 7.10 right now? Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, so uh, I think starting off your day in the gym though is so much better than like anything else you could do. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I agree. It's the blood pumping in the morning, it's the serotonin, just gets you wake, it just wakes you up, and then you but hop in the shower. It also makes your face dry. <laughs> it also makes your face dry, so bring face lotion. That's what else you're talking about. Anyway, we're gonna go to school. I'll see you at try practice, maybe. Catch y'all. Catch y'all. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm with Nana. We just had a glorious lunch, and the palm trees are swaying. Look, isn't this place beautiful? I love it here. Don't make me go home. <laughs> But the good news is, I don't know if you guys have seen yet, it's um, coming up on the time that um, or tryouts at home are going to be starting. This is tryout day number three for Katie and Ryan, and my fingers are crossed. I'm pretty positive Kate's going to make the track team, but my fingers are crossed for Ryan, and I'm pretty sure he's going to make it. I, he's just a good kid, and he did a good run, good run, I think. He said he had two good days of tryouts, so hopefully that'll work out. But we just had a glorious lunch. We're gonna do a little shop, shop, shopping, and then go meet Dad, my my Dad Pap, at um, at the golf course because he is golfing with some friends. And then we're gonna catch up with him and see how he did. So hope you guys are having a fabulous day. I certainly am. See ya. Hey guys, this is day three of track my tryouts. Stuck in my necklace. Oh, that's not good. Oh. You think Brian's gonna make the team? Yeah. I'm so nervous because um, he pulled. He what? Okay, I thought you were going to try and give me back. Okay. Anyways, I'm really nervous because, like, the ones that were on the backfield are, like, the ones that were guaranteed that, like, he already knew he wanted on the team. And then Ryan was not called back to the field, so he had to run again. And I'm so nervous. I really wanted to make it. He's up there waiting. So I just want to say I'm so nervous. 
All right, this is not how the day ended at all. As a matter of fact, the day started with a vlog and then it ended kind of abruptly because the news that Ryan got was not that great. Um, and he was, they, he, they, I don't know, I guess we're not in the mood to vlog the rest of the day and I totally get that. So now just, just so you know, today is Sunday. This vlog was Thursday. So I'm home now, but the next vlogs that you see, I'll still be in Florida, but cause anyway, cause we're filming this now and then putting it back in the vlog. So basically, um, Ryan did not make the team, but he was offered the opportunity for a second tryout on Saturday. And Ryan opted to not do that. And we're gonna talk to him a little bit about what his thought process was. And he was a little, um, actually, I, don't, I wouldn't say he was hesitant to talk about it on YouTube at all. Um, here he comes, he, he wants it with me. Look at, hey, we match. Here, why don't you sit next to me so we can Is both it? be in the same thing so I don't have to keep turning the camera on. You know what I'm saying? Can you come over here? All right. We're, gonna, we're sitting on his bag. Right. There he is. So I was just telling everybody, okay. I'm here to tell you. So this this vlog, I was just telling everybody that the vlog that they just, they, they've watched up till now was the actual day, but now it's a different day. We're just putting this in because I'm home now. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So it's just a different ending to the vlog. It's not actually on that same day. Right, right, right. Does that make sense? It's Sunday. So, hey, Ryan, tell us a little bit about what happened um, at the end of practice. Like, how did that go? So... He was like, all right, I'm going to make my decisions now. And I was like, Pfft. how are you feeling at the time? Because it's day three. Scared. Okay. Um, and then, so he like calls him right now and he's like, Donnelly. And by the way, I thought he was calling down people like first, the people who made it. Uh huh. So oh. I walked down there thinking I made it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm like all excited. I get there. He's not excited. I look mm -hmm. at the paper. It, the check mark is no. Oh. And I'm like, oh. and then he was like, what happened today? And I was like, I don't know. What do you mean? He was like, the time is like, your times just weren't there. And I was like, Pff. and I was like, I'm sorry. My, my legs are a little sore from day one and day two. Anyway, he was like, I'll be here on Saturday morning if you want to try again. So I, wa I like went home and I was like, yeah, I'll probably go back Saturday morning. And I thought about it more and I was like, I don't know, because track tryouts or er, track practice is every single day after school, which would take away a lot from golf, first of all, because um, I would get home and I would just have to do schoolwork if I want to keep good grades. Uh, so I decided I'm not going to go back Saturday because it's a big time commitment and um, it's a lot. And it's, it's a lot on my legs. I haven't ran, I like I just like tryouts were the first time I've ran in a while or like seriously ran in a while. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my legs were definitely more sore than a lot of the other kids' legs uh -huh, there. Uh -huh. And there were a lot of kids trying out. Anyway, so I, I ended up not making it. I didn't go back Saturday because I was like, I don't I don't know if I want to. Anyway, uh, so I'll just be with that time. We'll be at the driving range, really. I'll be at the golf course. And I guess this is one of the things, too, is first of all, I can't even tell you how well, I, how proud I am. I know I've told you 15 million times. I probably told the vlog 15 million times how proud I am of you for trying something new and going there and, and giving it your all. Now, a few disclaimers that you guys should know, and these are not excuses whatsoever, but our um, our boys track team finished third in the States uh, for the indoor season. It's a really, really good team. So uh, to have someone new who's never had any experience running come on the team mm -hmm. might be, you know, might have been a, a big bite to chew, but I've, it's yeah. worth, it's worth, um, worth trying, right? Mm -hmm. The second thing is, um, I guess what I wanted to ask you, because I wasn't here when this all went down because I was in Florida, but um, <coughs> if you think about like track versus golf, mm -hmm. do you have the passion for track that you had for golf? I mean, no, yeah. absolutely not. But you would have done it. Like if you yeah. made it, yeah. Well, I don't have been... a passion for a lot of things. Like I have a passion for golf. So yeah. it's, you know. Yeah, so it's unfair to compare that. Exactly. Yeah. But also if like golf for every day after school, easy. Done. Yeah. I'd do it. Track's a lot. It's a lot to do and you just started um going to the gym too so right Ryan's so been going if i to wanted gym. if i wanted to go to the gym and keep on my grades every single weekday would be and then also with work sorry that's another thing yeah i work after school on mondays and tuesdays so that would have to change and i'd have to work on the weekend so then my my weekdays would look like uh school or wake up school track uh go home school work sleep Mm -hmm. And then try to fit the gym in there somewhere if I can. Um, and then the weekends would look like work and work. It would be it would be a lot. 
yeah. to say the least. I think so. there are people that do that, but there are people that want to do that and they're passionate about track or whatever. Right, so, right. So anyway, so through a series of um, really thoughtful decisions, I think you really put a lot of thought into yeah. it, right? Because you yeah. considered going back for the for the tryout, mm -hmm. understanding and knowing that you were up against some state champions, number one, and number two, um, up against like not being experienced and not not training right. up for for tryouts and all that right. stuff right. and then so well i'm very proud of you on all accounts Thanks. for trying out for making very thoughtful decisions for deciding what is you want to do and it doesn't take track out of the equation ever you right. know what i mean like that doesn't mean it, it, but if you don't have a passion for running then you're, you're kind of like kate she doesn't really have a passion for running like i do and i'm yeah. trying to share it with you guys but yeah. i shared with you my passion for skiing and you took me and on that, that one <laughs> And that That's works. Good. I love that. One. And for the beach and, and the all beach. that good stuff. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I love it. For so cats, really too. For cats, we decided yes. We have a lot in common, Ryan and I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of the same interests and a lot of. Uh... Mm -hmm. But you're still a Bucks fan. That's new. <laughs> I also look. I root for the Chargers. Phil. Phil. What would you, say? Uh, Phil. 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 you didn't have a JH one up there, Justin Herbert. I know. We what the heck? Have... We need to get a signed picture. I had... If anybody has a signed picture of Justin Herbert, they'd like to get oh off their uh, off their desk. Send it our way. <laughs> I should have Dan Fout, Philip Rivers, and Justin Herbert. That'd be a good lineup right there. Like the eighties, the two thousands, and the right. 2020s. And so that's why we didn't finish the vlog that night. And um, I just think that everybody sort of needed some space and some time. So, you guys, we hope that you. Um, you're not going to make everything in life. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. And I watched a TED Talk, not recently, but I remember it, Yeah, uh, about rejection. And this guy started getting rejected from things. A lot of, he saw himself as like more than uh, than other people did. And he started getting rejected from a lot of, a lot of these jobs that he would go in for interviews for. And he, and he learned how to turn rejection into a good thing. So he started to try to get rejected. So he started this thing. I forget how long it was, but he, for the next, what, like, however many weeks, he was going to, like, every week, he was going to try to get rejected from something. Oh, so he it. went to a burger place. Um, I forget which one it was, but he goes, and they give free refills for your drink. And he goes to the counter. He eats his burger, and he goes to the counter and says, can I get a burger refill? If you refill drinks, why don't you refill my burger? And they obviously said no, looked at him like he was crazy, he got rejected, and he, learned, and he learned how to take that. And the more he got rejected, the more he got used to it, and the more he saw it as more of a positive thing. So... That's interesting. Yeah, it was cool. So, so wait, did, did he ever, ever succeed in anything? Yeah, actually, <laughs> Starbucks let him uh, do something, like, let him greet people at the door. And he, like... He, let, he went to Starbucks and said, hey, can I be a greeter or something? And so he stood by the door and, like, opened the door for people and, like, greeted them. Is that cool. what he does now? Uh, no. No, like, not now as, he, a, now no, he not as a job. Now yeah. he gives TED Talks. He went to Krispy Kreme and uh, asked if they could make an Olympic ring of donuts okay. for, for him. And they actually ended up they doing did. it, Good. too. So, I, uh, so two things to take away from this. One... Rejection can be a good thing if you turn it into that and you don't see it as rejection. Two, confidence gets you places. Because he walked in there not saying, like, not being nervous. He walked in there like he actually expected that, that Krispy Kreme is something that they do. But then they ended up doing it for him. Yeah, so so, so it gave him the confidence to ask for something or to go to try something right. that that maybe might work or might not work. Mm -hmm. Ah, I like get, that. I like once that. Once you get rejected enough, you're you're not. Scared it doesn't care. Anymore. It doesn't matter if you get mm -hmm. rejected, right? Because you know that you can keep going and do something different. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love that. I love that. Anyway, so if you have advice for uh, our audience, is that your advice? That's uh, my piece of wisdom for today, uh, and also the Manchester Derby and uh, <laughs> the Arnold Palmer Invitational. Uh, the final round is today. And the Manchester Derby's on right now, and it's, it's 1-1. One, one, so <laughs> Go on. Yeah. So thanks for coming in and um, sharing your news and your information mm -hmm. and what your next steps are with, uh, with our audience, Damn. our family. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. It was a little bit different. And um, uh, comment down below what made you happy today. And if you've ever taken um, a setback and turned it into something positive, because mm -hmm. I'm sure Drop you have. Drop the stories in the comments. We'll read them. you have them. That's right. That's right. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.